All right, welcome back to Hollywood Mechanics. Today we are going to be talking about a brake flaw that's plaguing a lot of the supercars with the carbon ceramics. All right, so what are we talking about? Um, basically carbon ceramic brakes as we all know are like a race inspired technology and the way that they work is the pads and the rotor themselves are much stronger and handle much higher temperatures and pressures than your normal brake pad for that reason there's less brake dust if you're driving around on the street and fewer brake pad changes that need to be done but they do have to get really hot in order to operate at their full capability and also that's why you have that like screeching noise that you hear with these supercars whenever they're driving around the city they're not getting their brakes hot enough and so it, it builds this little layer of brittle material on the tip of the pad because it never burns off it just goes through a ton of heat cycles and becomes brittle and and breaks into little crumbly pieces that end up getting caught in the brake pad and squealing that's not the problem that we're talking about today I'm going to show you something and this is on the Ferraris, this is even the LaFerrari, uh, this is on McLarens, um, even Aston Martin, I just saw one on a 2019. And basically what it is, is on this, let's get a flashlight here, on this rotor you have a um, disc that is treated uh, with the carbon ceramic material and you can see that there um, right here. But here, this is not carbon ceramic. And if you notice that, it kind of looks like carbon fiber. Um, and the reason is, is it actually is carbon fiber. It's just the center of the rotor. It's not treated with that carbon ceramic treatment. And as you can see, there's a little bit of scratches there on it. And the reason for that is boom. And you can see also how it's kind of crumbling apart on the tip there. That's again what causes the squealing. But if you look at the pad, it actually goes over onto that center surface. And that center surface is not nearly as strong as that outer surface. So what it does is, if you get the brakes hot enough uh, and you continue to use them, that very, very strong pad ends up grinding away at that center carbon fiber area. And I know what you're gonna say, Micah, you should change your rotors every two pads yeah that's what you're gonna say uh and those the rotors that are three to six thousand dollars a piece depending on the model that's quite a hefty cost but um it's more than just every two pads if you drive it and get it really hot the pad ends up pushing into that carbon fiber area there and can cause it to do what I'm about to show you here. If you look at these photos, this is where you can see that the bottom of the pad is a very thick groove that's developed in the pad. And this causes an unnatural uh, wear pattern, also increased heat and a weird friction uh, on the pad. Uh, it can cause fade or lock up on a wheel. It can also cause the rotor to be damaged and destroyed, um, which would be very scary if you're, you know, especially at high speed. Uh, it can cause imbalances in the rotor, but also if you look at the next photo here, it can cause the pad to bind and then twist, which causes uh, can cause extreme damage or, uh, again, a lack of your normal stopping power. So this is extremely, uh, this is a poor design. I don't know why they would do that. And I brought it to Ferrari's attention and they sent me this nice email saying thank you for bringing it to our attention. This was a few years ago. Um, but uh, there was no update on that. I reached out to the dealer because these pads are $1,700 from Beverly Hills Ferrari. Uh, and I was like, hey, you know, I bought these pads. They still overlap onto the carbon fiber area. Has there been any updates? And they're like, nope, those are the pads that go on the car. Uh, but then I was out in the street and I saw an SF90 and I went to go see if it had the same brake rotors. And it does have the same brake rotors, but They've changed the pad design. Here is what the new pad looks like. And as you can see, there's a nice groove cut out there um, for that area of the pad. So if it wasn't a problem, if this really wasn't an issue, why would they have changed the brake pad design? 
But the thing is they have not gone back and updated pads for other cars like this 2007 F430, the LaFerrari, um, the Aston Martin Rapide, uh, a lot of the, the McLaren 570S, they don't have these updated pads and they need to have that. So some of you sleuths can go out there and find out which calipers match across different cars. I'm telling you right now, the SF90 has this updated pad. Um, so if that would fit into some other rotors, buy the pads for that but they do not fit in the 599 or the f430 which both of those cars have this brake flaw um, so what you can do in the meantime is you can measure the thickness of that carbon ceramic area let's go look at it one more time here you can measure this thickness with a micrometer and then take your pad and from the top because the top actually sits flush there from the top, you can measure down and make little dots. Dot, 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 dot. And then very carefully with a Dremel, you can grind away that inner portion. And if it's not perfect, guess what? It doesn't really matter. These rotors don't really get thinner. As a matter of fact, the best way to test them for their age, I believe, is the conductivity measured across them, which um, I don't really see anybody talking about for some reason. It's so hard that you may never see them get thinner. And even though some of them have a minimum thickness, you may not actually see it go to that level. And again, uh, here's the part number here for this Brimbro rotor. These rotors are made by Brimbro and the pads are made by Brimbro. The caliper is made by Brimbro, but Brimbro has not fixed this. And I can't get a hold of Brimbro to get a solid answer. And the dealer won't deal with me either. They say they need to go to Brimbro. So yeah. Big flaw, big drop the ball. How are you gonna put some race inspired technology on a car and say, hey, but don't really push it, you know?